Lynn managed to grow a few inches. Yeah, right. <laughs> She's got to be on a sandbag down there. <laughs> it's been raining for a while, so I was, I'm being watered. It's being watered. <laughs> okay, so week uh, 10, day 5, and the roofing crew finally showed up. And yeah. uh, boy, I don't like how they're working. I got I to gotta get out of the way and not see these guys. Um, anyway, they, we had to go pick up the crew this morning. And but we've got a full slate of people, and behind me is the noise. All the high school students are showing up here. Yeah, I because, think it's a symposium. Well, they also got rained out because we've got yeah. a kid in our room there watching Paw Patrol. <laughs> Her teacher didn't show up today. Yeah, elementary kids. Yeah, okay, so we'll give you an update as we go through the day. Lynn's going to go back to the accounting to tighten yeah. up on these numbers a little bit. Doing the budget. Budget. Expenses. Likes, well. Expenses, yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. All righty. The box is wet, so I'll just get the cloth. The box got wet? Yeah, it's dripping, oh, like, oh, you know, from oh, the Okay. Place. All right. The electrical guys, the electrical box. We have a bag over it, but I guess that rain was really heavy yesterday. It's probably just some surface water, but better to be safe than sorry. Okay, there we go. Here's the roofing guys. I wish the main contractor was here. He does really, really nice work, but he has a habit of not being here and getting his crew started. After that rain last night, I was looking for people to have monster numbers of excuses for not showing up to work but I think we read the riot act over the last couple of days and they are not horsing around here okay I have got about six inches of mud on my feet so that's what the caribou grass is for you just wipe it off some of it anyway you don't get all of it <laughs> We, we have to pick it up, Lynn. They already told us that. Oh, yeah. Huh? Four by eight. 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 Okay, as Lynn works all that out, I will give you an update on how hard it rained last night. Okay, so that's already gone down about a half inch, and the driveway is absorbing like crazy as well. This was higher than that before. We have dwarf coconut, so they're all primed. What we need to do is get that into soil now to start breaking down that husk. Not to make light of it here, but this is the cemetery that's near us. But both Lynn and I, when we're walking through this trail to get to the highway, we go through the cemetery. <laughs> but they, <laughs> they installed a window on this one, guys. And you can't see it. I know you can't see it. But all the bones from various family members are inside there. <laughs> so different than Canada. That kind of leads me into today's little side snippet. Call it this old carcass too. It's not as deep, but it's about engaging in your community when you come to live in the Philippines. And yes, Lynn and I, we only live here half a year, but we still engage in our community and they recognize every time we come back. Uh, in Angeles, uh, they have a barangay ID. So we were able to get one of those. And there's been many times where the barangay police or the um, what we call light blue shirt guys <laughs> they know us okay now we've moved away from there we haven't engaged in too many police here no real opportunity uh, so far with the build but that leads me into why you are nothing in the Philippines and don't think that you are something here it gets you in trouble I guarantee it <laughs> 
<laughs> and why do I say that? Because there are a lot of nationals here that hate foreigners, absolutely hate them. And if you think that you're the one with all the money, <laughs> right, you are not the one with all the money. There's a few of you out there, but you're not the ones with all the money. And you act like it because they treat you so well. It's just not right, guys. You've got to engage and connect into your community. They will already think that you're on a pedestal, many of them, uh, but don't put yourself on one. I think it, it backfires a lot here. Um, a lot of foreigners get called. There was one here <laughs> a couple of days ago, right in San Ramejo. They just phoned the police because they'd had enough of this guy pounding his chest. And you got to understand, guys, in the last 11 years that I've been going back and forth, the middle income of this country is booming. Absolutely booming. There are trucks, there are SUVs, and even the people who can barely afford stuff are buying the little Toyota Wigos and the Kia Picantos and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. And they are moving forward fast and furious. They are. And I think what it is, is I saw a little write-up once about the sort of the baby boom of the Philippines and how those people have huge numbers of family members that are overseas making a lot of money and they are sending back a lot of money. Now when that baby boom busts, <laughs> who knows what's going to happen? That was part of the article that I was reading. What is going to happen to the Philippines when they're not getting all of this foreign money coming in? and they've got to embrace tourism. If you think tourism is big here, no, 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 no. Not even close, not even close. And the reason I say that is with 7,000 islands, goodness sakes, no cruise ships come here. You know, so they have not embraced the tourism the way it needs to be. And I would think that probably one of the biggest things uh, what book was it? A series of books that I bought about Southeast Asia and unfortunately with the Philippines it's not just the flying in guys it's the pollution levels here there's garbage everywhere there's garbage floating in the ocean that's why Duterte spent so much time getting some of these beaches all cleaned up so anyway that's my little side rant today for this old carcass but please guys engage into your community They'll already put you on a little bit of a pedestal, but don't put yourself on one. That's my opinion. I don't want to be underfoot, guys, so I'm keeping out of their way because as you can see, they're like non-stop raising up panels and everything. And if any of you guys are safety officers, get over it. <laughs> we all did this when we were young. No safety belts, all that stuff. <laughs> okay, so you know what's encouraging, guys? And I will get a little closer to the fence, but I'm keeping out of their way. Look at how far that shadow mark from the roof goes in, and we don't even have the gutter on yet. But basically, it's about two, maybe three feet into the house is the shadow mark for this deck. And so that's good, because this is December. That's the lowest the sun is going to be in the sky. In June, that shadow mark would even be further because the sun goes up and almost straight over the top of the house here. But right now we are getting our sunset just kind of in between these two trees here. And similarly to the back of me at the east. Uh, but about the time we're getting ready to leave, the bar, after the March equinox, it'll be setting almost right in the middle of the, the daggett. Come on. It's on sight. Yeah. Anyway, the guys, they've got a routine on this. I didn't know. Anyway, they've, they're starting to put the sacks of sand and gravel up, on, up top. The cement mixer is actually going to go right up on that slab, then that, then that, then that. Okay. <laughs> it is heavy guys it's really heavy the roof is on it's not fully screwed down yet guys it's tacked in there 
they'll come back and do a, a lot of screwing <laughs> later. <laughs> I can see it. It's there. Yeah. Yay. We went away for half an hour. Family showed up. We have no food left in the house. They ate it all. We ate it all. Yeah. Kid run, no. And we're going home now. Eat and run. Eat and run. Tuck and roll. Yeah. Now these two are Eddie's kids. He's part of our crew. What are you doing? She's sweating. <laughs> Fred and Giselle just popped over. They live in Lambusen here as well. Yeah. We met them at the San Romijo Public Beach last year at the barbecue. And they want to have a look at the AAC project yeah. when we get started next yeah. week. He's interested in looking at it, how we are going to do it. And I apologize right up front, but there's a fellow in Danbentayan that also wants to look. So he might pop over sometime next week as well. Yeah. Cool guys, that would be great. Yeah. <laughs> Later Gators.